So we're here at all Disney's what is it called? <laughs> <laughs> you were gonna call it Wet Stars. <laughs> uh, okay, get back in frame. <laughs> So we got up and got ready and we actually put on our swimsuits because we decided we wanted to go to Typhoon Lagoon for the day. I'd been to Blizzard Beach before, but neither of us had ever been to Typhoon Lagoon. So we thought since it was definitely hot enough and we didn't have a park reservation anywhere else, we may as well go over there and try it out. Good morning, friends. We're here at Disney's All-Star Music Resort and we're on our way to, well, we're going to get some breakfast and then we're going to go to Typhoon Lagoon for the day. Um, but yeah, yesterday was really productive. We did a lot yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, my feet hurt. Yeah, we're feeling yesterday quite a bit. So it's nice that today's going to be a chill day. But um, we'll take you with us. We'll see what we see and do what we do. And we'll talk soon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So we went over to the food court for breakfast. Carlos got a bagel sandwich and some Mickey waffles. And I got the like full breakfast and just kind of mixed everything together with some hot sauce. And then we made our way out to the bus. In order to get to Typhoon Lagoon, you actually have to take the bus to Disney Springs first and then transfer from there. Same thing with Blizzard Beach. You have to go to Animal Kingdom and transfer at Animal Kingdom. There's no direct buses to the water parks. But other than the fact that you have to transfer, it's a pretty simple process and we got there pretty quickly. And we saw this map on the way in and they actually have maps all throughout the park. So it's not really all that difficult of a place to navigate. But yeah, before we knew it, we were getting ourselves a locker. All right, y'all. So we have to put our stuff in a locker. So we're going to do that and go do some things. And then later, we're going to actually go out and get some footage and show you all around. But anyway, we'll talk soon. First, we went over to the map again to kind of orient ourselves with where we were at in the park and where we wanted to go. If you're not familiar with the legend of Typhoon Lagoon, basically it was a pristine tropical land that got hit by a typhoon. And so you find all of the like scenery and theming and different things kind of strewn about and it's meant to look a little kind of messy. Miss Tilly is what the boat is called that's on the top of the little hill in the lagoon and that's meant to be the centerpiece of the park. At the base of Miss Tilly is the wave pool and it's one of the largest in the world and Carlos and I spent a lot of time in that wave pool splashing around and also the Lazy River. The Lazy River does a full lap around the park and so we did multiple laps in the Lazy River but we also did most if not all of the slides. Like there isn't a ton of them but there are quite a few enough to you know kill several hours which we definitely did and while we did have to wait as long as 30 minutes or so none of the lines were really all that long at any point throughout the day and one of the major rides at this park is a water coaster called Crush and Gusher and that was definitely the most thrilling of all the rides we were road, but that was also the longest line we waited in. And then from there, we checked the map again to see what we still needed to ride, and we rode a couple of other smaller slides, and then just kind of explored the park a little bit. Typhoon Lagoon has a nice sandy beach that you can go on, which is kind of interesting. It's right next to the wave pool, and they have all kinds of, like, loungers and stuff set up over there on the beach. And another fun fact about Typhoon Lagoon is that it opened the year I was born, so Typhoon Lagoon and I are almost exactly the same age. I think I like Blizzard Beach more than Typhoon Lagoon. It is newer, and you can can tell but really it comes down to theming i think the theming at blizzard beach is just a little bit better just because it's kind of a unique idea all right you all so we had some fun today we rode some slides and all kinds of stuff what did you think what did you think of typhoon lagoon lots of fun yeah it was a good day it's busy but it's not like crazy crowded you know what i mean um so we didn't have to wait too long for stuff but anyway we'll talk soon bye guys so we grabbed a couple of beers on the way out and decided that we wanted to go to Disney Springs for lunch since the bus was going to drop us off there anyway. And one thing that the Disney water parks have that fascinates me are these little water jets for you to clean your feet with. It makes sense since they have the sandy beach and everything and you're walking around barefoot or in, you know, like open toe shoes. And we of course said goodbye to Typhoon Lagoon as we went out to the park exit. And then from there we made our way out to the bus and the buses run pretty regularly there since everybody's catching the same bus and then transferring to wherever they're trying trying to go from there. When we got to Disney Springs, which of course only took a couple of minutes, we first wanted to try the Polite Pig, but that had a really long line, so we went over to Earl of Sandwich, and then we decided we didn't want to eat that, and so we went to the other side of Disney Springs, and we just kind of looked around and pondered other options. So we're at Disney Springs. Um, the bus transfers here, so we had to come here regardless, but we're hungry, so we, after pondering between a few places, we've decided on going to where? 
Uh, guy's chicken place, I think. That's what chicken it's guy. Oh, yeah. Chicken guy, whatever it's called. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, chicken place. Um, it's going to be so delicious. The line might be long. Hopefully, it's not too, too long. But this place is pretty busy. Lots of peeps. But that's okay. It usually moves pretty fast anyway. But. Sorry if I can't see the camera. <laughs> yeah, sun's in my eyes. But um, next thing you should see is us with some food in our mouth, maybe. Oh, or wow. near us or something. But I yeah. I can see. I can see. We'll talk soon. So we ordered our food and we were lucky enough to find a spot at the bar inside. It was just two of us, so we didn't need like a big area and the bar seating is perfect for us. I had at first saved us a table outside, but it was way too hot in direct sunlight. So I was glad that Carlos found those bar seats and we merrily ate our chicken sandwiches. I will say that I really do like chicken guys. So if you're ever at Disney Springs and you're looking for something kind of on the cheaper side for food, that's definitely something I recommend. It's not cheap in general, but it's pretty low for Disney standards. And then from there, we just hung out at Disney Springs for a while. Carlos, of course, wanted to drag me along shopping for a little bit. Those of you who have seen my channel in the past know that I'm not much of a shopper, but I don't mind browsing for a little while and we were definitely there killing time. Although for this day being meant as a rest day, we were certainly getting a lot of steps in and after a while we were really starting to feel it. One thing we did notice being that it was only a week or two away from the start of Pride Month is that there were a lot of Pride branded and themed Disney items and Carlos is really a sucker for those kinds of things and so we definitely looked at every single Pride piece that existed. And while there's definitely a sort of debate on whether or not big companies have good intentions with that stuff. I'd be lying if I said I didn't buy into it also. But soon we made our way out to the front of Disney Springs to catch the bus, and the bus for the All-Star Resorts didn't take too long to get there at all, and then we ended up back at the hotel. It was actually still pretty early at this point, so it was nice to have some time to chill, and so we relaxed in the room for a little bit until it was time to grab some food. We placed a mobile order at All-Star Music's food court and walked over there and ate in the little dining area. And the food, while not great, was definitely decent, and after that we debated if we wanted to go swimming, but we were afraid that it would start to rain again so we just went back to the room and called it a night all right y'all that's a wrap we're tired yeah <laughs> uh my poor feet um i always forget how many steps i'm gonna get in a day well over fifteen thousand today but that's it um i want to thank you all for watching be sure to like comment share subscribe all those fun things we'll talk soon and y'all have a good night